My name is Meg Jones. I'm a reporter from the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. I'm at Schrader Aquatic Center in uh, Brown Deer today for an underwater hockey tournament, um, which is uh, drawing about 200 people to Milwaukee from uh, all over, from Columbia, Canada, and from many states here in uh, America. Now, underwater hockey is not like hockey on ice. Um, uh, from most of the people that are uh, that participate. Uh, come from the swimming world. They're swimmers or they're water polo players or divers that just like to spend more time um, underwater. Um, and uh, they use a small stick that's about, I'd say, like maybe a foot long. And uh, the hockey puck weighs about three pounds. It's not like a normal hockey puck that's just weighted differently. It's it's got a lead floor and a plastic around it. Um, and then uh, the players have um, uh, wear snorkels, masks, and fins. And, uh, and they basically they're hovering around on the top of the water and then when the puck comes close then they dive down and then they try and move it around with this little small stick. Um, nobody has to hold their breath for any more than like six, seven, maybe eight seconds at a time. Um, and then they come back up and there's no uh, goaltender because um, nobody can hold their uh, breath for uh, half an hour for the game. So somebody just kind of like, um, they don't actually hover over the goal, but they come down and then try and, um, and uh, prevent the puck from going in. So uh, kind of an interesting sport. Not a lot of people, uh, at least I've never heard of it. Um, not a big sport here in Wisconsin. There's only uh, one team here from Wisconsin. It's a, a group out of Sturgeon Bay. But uh, there's also a club team in Green Bay, and then there's a club team in Chicago, and they're all here for, uh, for the underwater hockey. 